Today, I'm gonna to show you two different ways to do this printer paper effect that Cole Bennett just did in his newest Kid Leroy music video. I'm first gonna show you the practical way where you print out each frame and then scan it back over to your computer. And then I'm gonna show you how to do it digitally and even include a free download. That way you guys can follow along. Let's go. Now the first way is the practical way and to do the practical way, you need two things. You need one, a printer and two, a scanner. That way you can print out each frame and then scan it back over to your computer. So to get started with the practical way, we need to turn our video layer into an image sequence. That way we can print out each individual image onto a piece of paper and scan it back over. So in Premiere Pro, you can see we have our clip plane. It looks like a normal video clip and to turn it into a bunch of pictures is really simple. All we have to do is export and instead of H.264, which is really common to export in, we can go to JPEG. Now the way that they did it in the newest Cole Bennett video was pretty much 24 frames per second. It looked like it might have been a little bit under. That's going to be really time consuming. For the example, I'm going to do a lower frame rate, but 24 frames per second does look really cool. Just know that it's going to be a lot of individual frames and you're going to have to scan it back over and then go frame by frame, which is a super time consuming process. So shout out to Dylan, the one that did the VFX of the paper. I can only imagine how long it actually took him. Let's go ahead and change it to 12 frames per second. That means that every second that passes, there will be 10 pictures exported. So if you have a three second clip, take those three seconds and you times it by the number of frames. So three times 12 is 36. So you'll have 36 frames that you have to print out, scan over, and then animate back into Premiere Pro or whatever editing software you're using. I would recommend exporting to a folder because it is going to be a lot of pictures. Just have it all in one spot is pretty nice. And then go ahead and click export. So that turned out to be 54 frames. So this is going to take quite a while, but I want to show you the process. So I'm going to go ahead and actually do all 54 frames for you guys. The easiest way I've found is using Windows. I don't know how to do it quite on Mac. I'm sure there's a way, but I'm just familiar with Windows. Just shift click all of your frames, right click and go to print. And in the default Windows thing, there is an option that says contact sheet. That way you can get as many frames as possible on one sheet. Those 54 frames is only going to take two pieces of paper and a lot less ink, which is nice. That's another thing that you have to factor in when you're doing these effects. You're going to run through a lot of ink really quickly, especially if you're doing every single frame at 24 frames per second. So keep that in mind. But all we have to do now is click print and now my printer should be printing something. I do recommend before scanning it over, letting the ink on the paper dry a little bit. That way it doesn't have like these wrinkle lines when you scan over. It just comes out like a little like damp feeling. So just wait till it dries. It should only take a few minutes. While we wait for the ink to dry, I wanna show you guys something really, really cool. So I just turned 25 and for my birthday, my mom framed one of the Shake Sauce rugs in this frame. And look at this. What? Come on, that's so sick. I'm gonna have it hung up here, that way it's in all of my videos. If you guys aren't familiar, Shake Sauce is my After Effects extension that makes adding shakes to your products super, super easy and fun. And it's actually getting a massive update soon, so stay tuned for that. Look how cool this is. Like, it just like, it's gonna be in all my videos. Looks amazing. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but this is like purple felt here and green accents. And now the paper is nice and dry, so it's time to scan over. This is the printer I use. It's the HP OfficeJet Pro 8600 Plus. And I use the Canon CanoScan Lide 400 scanner uh, to scan back over. I'll have both of these linked in the description if I can find them on Amazon. If you click the link, it's an affiliate link, it supports the channel. These are the ones I use. You don't need these exact ones. Honestly, this printer has a scanner. It's just not as high quality as the CanoScan one. You can kind of make it work with whatever. Also, don't mind the mess in the kitchen. I'm still working on the Ultimate Texture Bundle V3, which is basically a digital pack to get all these paper effects with transitions, overlays, templates, PSDs, PNGs, animated video overlays, basically everything you need to get ultra realistic paper effects, but 100% digitally. That way you don't have to have a printer, a scanner, or spend all the time doing it. It's like the craziest deal I've ever done. So if you like paper effects, definitely go pre-order the Ultimate Texture Bundle V3. Claim those two free packs. I promise you won't be disappointed with the V3. It's so sick. So the process now is pretty simple. Just take your piece of paper, put it into your scanner. On your computer, depending on your scanner, there's gonna be a software. All you have to do is click scan and it will scan it over to your computer. This shot feels familiar. All right, so now we're gonna want to open our scans in Premiere Pro. And it looks like I scanned them in upside down, so I'm just gonna rotate it 180 degrees and locate the thing that says frame zero, zero, and then just scale that up as much as possible. Now, when we scale it up, you'll see the paper texture on the image, but also the image quality is a little low, and that's because we printed really small. If you want the quality of the print to be higher, just print larger images. So just to show you guys, I printed out a frame just larger. This one allows for four different frames per piece of paper. So I think we had like 54, so that'd be around 
14 pieces of paper. And keep in mind when you print bigger, obviously it's gonna use more paper and more ink. It kind of can get expensive, but it definitely looks like higher quality when you do it this way. That's one thing that's a little annoying about the practical version that you don't really have to deal with in the digital version because I do go ahead and take the time and print out the high quality assets. That way when you drag them on, it looks high quality in your actual footage, but it's all done digitally. You don't have to print out anything, but I'll show you that in a little bit. Now the process is to go and line up the frames. And since we printed at 12 frames per second, I'm gonna go forward one, two frames, cut, and then move our image over so it lines up properly. One thing that's nice about the contact sheet is you can go down and kind of see what frame number you're at. That way you don't skip any. And now we go one, two, cut, and then move over. And then do that process for all your frames. We got 54, so I'm gonna set you up on a time-lapse and I'll see you when it's done. Okay, let's see this. Whew. If I were to do this effect in an actual music video, I probably wouldn't print on the contact form. I would probably bare minimum do the four frames per one piece of paper just to get the best quality. But the concept of the effect is the exact same. Print it out, scan it over, then move each frame by frame and scale it properly. Okay, that process took 55 minutes. Let's go ahead and do the digital version and see how long that takes. Okay, so the process for digital is definitely a little quicker and I wanna show you my workflow on how I'm able to get creative with it and get different looks from the same overlay. In the description, I'll have a sample of the Ultimate Texture Bundle V3 with this printer overlay. Just note in the full version of the Ultimate Texture Bundle V3, there's gonna be templates done for you that way you can just drag and drop your footage in, animated video overlays, ENGs and ESD, so Photoshop files of collages, there's gonna be so much in this pack. So if you're watching this before the 17th and you wanna pre-order it, you can buy the Ultimate Texture Bundle V3 and get two editing packs for my site 100% for free. And pre-orders open until the 24th. And then after that, if you're watching it, the Ultimate Texture Bundle V3 is out. Just go ahead and get it. It's super fire. I'm still just adding a bunch to it, but it's really coming together and it's by far way better than V1 and V2. Super excited for you guys to try it. So dragging on that printer overlay and just scaling it to frame size. And then since this music video is a weird aspect ratio, just scaling it like this. This. Let's go ahead and for right now, turn it to screen and then go ahead and just copy and paste it throughout our clip. That way it plays the whole entire time. And then let's just go ahead and play that. We already have kind of a printer-esque effect. I think it looks pretty clean, but let's go ahead and sauce it up and make it a lot more custom and feel a little bit more realistic. So the number one effect that's gonna help out a lot is posterized time. And if you drag that onto your actual video clip, you can change the frame rate. So in the practical version, we did 12 frames per second, but in the free download that I gave you, that overlay is actually in eight frames per second. So it will look the best if you change the posterized time to eight frames per second, but you can really do it with any frame rate and it's still gonna look good. In the full version of the pack, I'm gonna have a bunch of different frame rates of overlays and then also templates. That way you can just drag it on and change the frame rate depending on what you want. So let's go ahead and change this to eight. Now you can see when we go one, two, three, the the image and the paper texture change at the same time. So now when we play that, you can see we have a little bit more of a paper-esque effect. Some other things that I noticed in the music video is they added some noise or there was just some noise there. I think that helps sell the effect. So if we drag that onto our video clip and just change the noise up to whatever you want, maybe 10, 15, 20, something like that will look good. And then maybe just playing around with the actual lumetri color for the image to kind of make it feel like it's printed on paper. A lot of times like overexposing it a little bit helps to sell like that printer-esque effect, bringing up the highlights, the contrast, and just tweaking the colors. This is where you can really get creative. Your primary goal doesn't always have to make it look like it's the most realistic paper. I think there's also some really cool stylistic choices that you can make without making it look the most realistic, but it still looks really good. Another thing that was done in the music video was like this halftone effect. Now he probably applied the halftone effect before he printed it out, but to do it digitally, you can make a new adjustment layer and then use something like sapphire halftone color. I think changing the dot frequency up higher looks good and then also turning down the dots sharpen. And then since this is on an adjustment layer, you can play around with some of the blending modes and get interesting looks. I think something like darken or lighter color or screen looks really cool. You can also just leave it on normal. And then finally, you can just change the lumetri color of the paper texture itself. I think this always gives like interesting and unique effects. One of the ones I like to do is go under creative and go to sharpen. If you turn up the sharpen, it will make it a little bit more intense. And if you turn down the sharpen, it'll make it feel a little bit more grungy. I think for our case, let's turn up the sharpen a decent amount, make the contrast a little bit more, and then play with the curves editor just a bit. And then go ahead and copy and paste that to all the overlays. And then just like that, we have a nice paper effect. In conclusion, I think there's a time and place for both practical and digital. Let me know in the comments down below which one you guys prefer. If you do prefer digital, I would highly recommend downloading the Ultimate Texture Bundle V3. Right now, it's available for pre-order until 
until the 24th. And until the 17th, if you pre-order the Ultimate Texture Bundle V3, you can get two editing packs that you're choosing 100% for free. So if that deal is still going on, I would definitely take advantage of that. There's templates, there's animated video overlays, PNGs, and PSD collages. Everything you need to get the most realistic paper effects. But that's all I got for you guys in this one. Peace.